Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today with Volcano 3, I'm going to be showing you a variety of ways to create some cool panning effects along with some beefy stereo imaging. Let's dive right into it. So before we get into this, we need to explain some basics so that you know exactly what's happening when we start to use these effects in an actual mix. So I have here a sawtooth waveform and we are just going to be using it to demonstrate a couple basic things. So first off, if we put down a filter and let's go ahead, let's make this a low pass filter and let's just put it right there. So, okay, I'm gonna give it a pretty high peak value and bring down its slope or bring up its slope. Okay, so you'll notice on the outer edge, there is a ring that allows us to sort of split the filter into two pieces. This is the filter panning uh, knob. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a fancy name for it. Filter panning knob, that's what we're calling it. And as we move it around, the left channel and the right channel are gonna get different frequency cutoff points. And so you actually get a different filtered signal in each ear. And this is gonna have, it just has some really weird implications when it comes to stereo imaging. I'm gonna move it. So typically if you have something with more high end, it sounds like it's closer to you. And when you move this knob, it gives the impression that the sounds like crossing your, like through your head in sort of just a bizarre way. So that's the first thing. This could be kind of confusing to, to see when it's in on a more complicated sound. So we're doing it here. All right, so that's the first cool thing. The next cool thing is, let's go ahead, let's just go to a simple example. We're going to add a, another low pass and we're going to add a second, we'll make it also a low pass. And right now, the first low pass and the second low pass are in series, we want them in parallel. Okay, so what I wanna show you now is the delay control. So there's a delay control down here, and this will make it so that one filter's output is delayed. So you can create essentially host delays with, with this method, but in combination with the first one, you can get really weird filter specific host delays. Uh, so I'm just going to show you here. You can get a really sort of a nice comb filtering effect, a coursing almost. So if I make this, you know, zero, and we'll make them of, of a similar similar cutoff for now. And I'm going to delay one by, you know, 11 milliseconds. So if we were to modulate this, for example, with an LFO and just have this sort of doing its thing, moving around, and we move the frequency up some. So that's the delay control and the frequency panning control. There's one other thing that while we're here, I should demonstrate, go back to the full screen mode. Uh, we're gonna go over here. So you have a left, right, and this actually uses two of your filters. You get four in total. So it gives you a left control and a right control. So you could directly control, you know, this is the one that goes through the left, this is the one that goes through the right. And you can also do a mid side. So we could have the mid signal be the low end and the side signal be this high end. And right now it's a mono signal, which is why we're not getting any difference out. So let's go ahead, let's pull up the synth real quick and let's give it some stereo stuff to work with. So for example, add a reverb. we can affect the reverb sound individually. Uh, notice that, yeah, when we have a low slope, so like this is six dB per octave, that the drive control turns off. So if you wanna use that, you need to turn this on so you can, you know, make it kinda beefy. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead, let's apply these concepts to an actual mix. So I have here a bass sound, it lives right here. I've already got a volcano on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. So right off the bat, this is our spectrum. And I'm gonna show you the techniques we just used as well as a different way to do this. All right, so here's the sound that we're working with. Already has some stuff going on, but what we're gonna do is first off, let's start off with the simplest way, right? So I'm gonna add two filters. I'm gonna make one mid and one side. So I'm gonna choose mid side. And I'm going to make the mid signal the low end. And so we're gonna make this a high pass and this is gonna let all the low end through. And then we're gonna mess with the high end 
via this top filter here. We can go for a high shelf could be kind of cool as opposed to a low pass. I don't know, we have, we have some options. So we could do something like this and we could try messing with uh, some of the different filter types. <laughs> it blows my mind how good some of these filters sound. If we, if we turn, uh, if we just bypass this. That's before, here's after. Like, holy bejeebers, man. That's so freaking awesome. Okay, we could even do some delay madness and stuff with this. I don't, I don't know how much this... I don't expect a huge difference. Yeah, you get a little bit of the blur between them. It's a really subtle flange. If you want some subtle flange, you could do it that way. So, already, we're just beefing it up. Now, we are getting a big boost, so we'd have to compensate for this. We could even bring this down. But part of the fun here is, is boosting this. We could always bring it down afterwards with a multi-band compressor and trying out some of the different filter types. And so that's one thing you could do. We could change these back to stereo and instead we could take this number two and do some panning. <laughs> So there's some options there for beefing it up that way. So we could have sort of a separated two pass kind of a thing. Let's go ahead and build on this. Let's add a LFO and we're going to make the LFO move the filter pan control, which is just the outer ring. And we're going to dial this way back some and slow it down quite a bit. <laughs> Could add a little bit of delay too now we could run into phasing issues if we get too wild with this so this is sort of an extreme example and we could send them out in parallel so that this side's always going out and this is just sort of an extra juicy bit on top you can see it with this scenario we're able to mix it in quite a bit more so if we went before and after. I love the resonance. Let's go for something like raw. If you do boost things like way up, yeah, you might get that. And if you want to turn that off, I did, don't do what I just did. <laughs> That's not the way to do it. There's an auto mute self oscillation. So if we do have a high peak, you can get those crazy high peaks without the oscillation happening when you boost it. And that's just a product of how the filter algorithm works. So let's go ahead, let's, uh, to finish this off, let's just dial this up somewhere over here. Let's dial this back to something more reasonable. Um, I quite like what this is doing. And I'm gonna go ahead and fiddle with the mid side once more. So we'll lose the automation fanciness. I honestly think this is my favorite one. It just adds a nice little quality on top. It gives it just sort of an edge. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know down in the comments, subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day. <laughs>